Okay, good afternoon everybody. John with you again. Uh, you know, we've been following the Miss Hawaii USA and Miss Hawaii Teen USA contestants uh, through their series of workshops leading up to the pageant in November. Uh, but today we have something a little bit different. Uh, Tu Couture, who runs the pageant, also holds a competition called Hawaii's Most Beautiful Man. And today uh, is the orientation workshop meeting where the guys can learn a little bit more about what to expect uh, during the competition and they can have their questions answered. And it's a chance for uh, you and me and all of us uh, to get to know the guys a little bit better, check out the competition before the competition. So why don't we meet some of the guys? Uh, one of my good friends, Kyle, and his girlfriend, Brandy, uh, told me about it. Told me uh, it's like the Hawaii's Most Beautiful Man contest. Um, I'm just kind of using it for, um, kind of just to get used to being on stage without my shirt off, <laughs> or with my shirt off. Um, I want to get into like bodybuilding and stuff, so this would be a good you know, eye opener for me. On my free time, what I like to do is usually surf. I like to read a lot of business books. Um, I like to uh, kind of work on my business and also things of that nature. Um, I like to work on acting, so I work on my acting skills and start reading up on things and just educate myself and just be with my wife. Possibly go on a trip. Um, possibly buy a new camera. Two ideas. And how is it that you I entered the contest? How did you hear about it? I saw a ad actually, or a, a poster down by, um, what's that, Indigo, right down the street. Let's start with uh, my best quality. <laughs> I'm nice, I'm very personable, I love to help people out. Uh, I've done anything from, you know, taking people off the street and giving them clothes, like directly taking them shopping and stuff like that. Um, I, 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 I've spent a lot of money just helping friends out, you know what I mean? So that's, that's probably like my best quality. That's what a lot of my friends would say. Um, my worst quality? Hmm. I, I kind of judge myself a little bit too hard. You know, it's like nothing's ever good enough. It could always be better. You know, that's a good thing but a bad thing at the same time, you know? Oh my God, it's Mr. Watson. <laughs> So today is Hawaii's Most Beautiful Man, and I'm sure people would like to know, where did the inspiration for this competition come from? From Takeo, of course, where all inspirations come from. He decided that what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So he just said, let's do a competition for men right alongside the ladies. So at the Women's Expo, you'll see our 32 beautiful contestants in the miss, our 10 in the team, and 15 men that are sure to break your heart. And so uh, this competition has been going for a few years. Twelve years now. Twelve it's our twelfth, twelfth annual roundabout Mustang Stallion race for the men of Hawaii. Oh wow! Um, I think worst. I, I don't know how to say no to people, and probably best. Um, I'm ADHD, so I'm always kind of like happy and just going. <laughs> well, with the thousand dollars, I already had um, a couple things planned. My mom is. Uh, She's a dialysis patient, and um, to, in order to fly to Hawaii, she needs uh, at least like a down payment for a medical bill. Plus, we're uh, also recovering from a tsunami last year, so in our house isn't really in a uh, livable condition. I'm from Madrid, uh, Spain. I was born and raised in Madrid. <coughs> a lot of soccer going on over there. <laughs> you play soccer? Yes, I've been playing. Uh, all my life, pretty much. My worst quality? Oh, well, uh, I'm not very, uh, I, I don't use foresight a lot. I, I rush into things a lot of times. It gets me into trouble, for sure. So, sometimes I, I act before I think. We are suggesting Aloha wear with jeans. You can have a hole the size of a kilo in your pants. It looks cool. It looks interesting, it looks hot. So think of that kind of rugged aloha wear. You can button your shirt, you can unbutton your shirt. You can take it off, you can do whatever you want. Suit to a nice shirt and pants. What do you do when you go out? Maybe you're the kind of person that meets chicks and goes surfing. So your date wear becomes a uh, surfboard and things. Rope them in, guys. Rope them in. Make them love you. Wow. Makia is how old? Sixteen. She's sixteen and she's six foot five. 
I mean, that's Six incredible. Five? <laughs> really? Really? Yes. But she's a delightful young woman who's very engaging. So she has prepared these questions for you so you feel appropriate and done. comfortable. So she may be asking you these absolutely scripted questions, or she may be talking out of her cuff. But what we wanted to do is give you an opportunity to become aware of some topics. My best quality can actually be my worst quality. My best quality is that I'm new to this. You know, I don't know what to expect. Uh, you know, I don't have any kind of. I really don't have any kind of preconceived notions. I'm just really going in with an open mind. So I think that's that can play in my favor. But it can also hurt in a way because they might not know what to watch out for, what to look out for, and really what to do to prepare. So I guess it works both ways. Well, I gave myself that name when I turned 18. No, I'm just kidding. No, the name actually, um, it's an old, it's an English last name. A lot of people think it's American Indian, but it's actually English. It goes way back to uh, Knight's Days. It was actually To God. It was a royalty name. But when, when everyone started immigrating to uh, the U.S., um, it slowly switched to Too Good, but it was spelled T-O-O, -O, and then throughout the years it turned to T-W-O. So that's where it comes from. So, tell me about a really bad date that you've been on. Really bad date? <laughs> well, I'd have to say, actually, I haven't been on one in a while, so I'm still thinking about that. But when I do have one, I'll let you know. Well, there you have it. Those are uh, most of the contestants that are competing for Hawaii's Most Beautiful Man, September the 11th, uh, at the Blaisdells, as part of the Women's Expo. And uh, those are uh, most of the contestants. I understand there's a couple that were off-island that were unable to be here today, but that's the majority. And uh, just to clarify, because I know it's confusing, I'm not a contestant. We'll see you there.